after Itina on 15th of May had promised, uh, had, had broken the story about how the two promoters, Rakesh Gangwal and Rahul Bhatia, were not seeing eye to eye, hiring law firms or having a tiff, we had seen the CEO, Ranajoy Datta, come out in damage control mode. Uh, you know, we had seen a letter to the employees. Soon thereafter, there had been an earnings result, after which uh, a statement had been made on that earnings conference call with investors, with the analyst community, on the spat by the two promoters. Remember, Rahul Bhatia and uh, Rakesh Gangwal have an almost equal stake in Indigo. They often call it Chalk and Cheese, Batman and Robin that came together to form India's largest airline. Did Ranajoy Datta, the CEO, know the full extent of the problems? Before we go any further, let's listen into that soundbite. We want to uh, confirm that there are absolutely no differences on strategy, uh, no differences on international expansion, no differences on management selection. There is one issue that they're debating right now, and we hope to resolve that in the, next, in the very near future. And so only one issue remaining, it is being debated, and we're very optimistic it will be resolved shortly. So there you go. So that is on May 27, 2019, what Ranajoy Datta, the CEO of Interglobe Aviation, said on an earnings call. And, you know, it's statements like these that we understand are being scrutinized by the market regulator. Did he mislead the markets about the full extent of the trouble? You know, you had seen on uh, a day after eating our story on 16th of May, a very uh, sharp reaction on the stock markets when it came to the Interglobe stock. And after the promoters officially, publicly started trading ch charges earlier this week, you've seen a reaction on the markets. You've seen one promoter call for SEBI's intervention. So against this backdrop, uh, it is the market regulator which is going to be studying the top management's role, is going to be studying the CEO's role, who has been publicly talking about this fight. Now, you know, that's not just where our story ends. Uh, we are also understanding from our sources that uh, institutional investors have started reaching out to the two promoters as well as the management of the listed entity. And why not? They're worried. Uh, what's the future of the company? What two equal shareholders, the promoters, not talking to each other? In fact, we've been told that Rahul Bhatia and Rakesh Gangwal have not even spoken to each other directly or indirectly via lawyers. As far as uh, their holding goes, we're also being told by our sources that neither are they selling the stock, neither are they accumulating it, which, you know, should not really come as a surprise as well, because if you look at the, promo the minimum public shareholding norm, they're just about meeting it. So there's no scope for them to increase it, uh, despite the reaction that you're seeing on the stock today, again, is down by about 5% in trade as we speak. Uh, but the big story, of course, being SEBI looking to scrutinize the role of the CEO. Did he fully disclose the extent of the promoter trouble? Something, uh, did the share, were the shareholders misled? Were the markets misled? Uh, so it's the onus is going to be now on the management to perhaps talk about that.